telling authentic stories requires talent and creativity. That's what's most important. But anyone who says that equipment is only secondary is also on the wrong path. The interplay of creativity, skill and high quality gear makes stories come to life. However, the race for the best aerial shots is not getting easier nowadays. Complicated rules and ever-increasing amounts of tech gadgets overwhelm many. This is where the DJI Mini 3 Pro comes into play. A miniature drone that doesn't want to be one. Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time, today with a brand new review. We want to take a closer look at the hybrid drone, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Can a Pro drone actually be that small? Let's find out together. A product link can, as always, be found in the description right below this pretty video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and, of course, don't forget to subscribe to never again miss any of my upcoming exciting episodes. Stay tuned and enjoy the episode. At just 249 grams, the DJI Mini 3 Pro drone is not only incredibly lightweight, but it doesn't even need to be registered in many countries. However, the Mini 3 Pro drone does neither stand out because of its low weight, nor because it easily fits into a jacket's pocket. The Mini 3 Pro drone is a pioneer because despite its minimal size, and despite its feather weight, it is equipped with a high-end camera and flight tech never before seen in such a small drone. The Mini 3 Pro is the first miniature drone equipped with functional anti-collision cameras, making it the safest to fly miniature drone ever to exist until now. Six eyes constantly watch over the drone and check the surrounding during flight to avoid collisions. Two small cameras point forward, two downward, and most importantly, two cameras face to the back. This makes the blind backward flight one of the main reasons for crashes much safer. And the system is bulletproof and I'm not over-exaggerating. Of course, manufacturer DJI equipped its small Mini 3 Pro drone with many intelligent flight modes. It can very reliably track a person or an object in motion, even in backward flight. It can also nicely perform automatic flight patterns while creating cinematic clips on its own. Now the intelligent modes do their job and they're pretty fun to use, but I couldn't spot any new innovations. The general flight behavior of the Mini 3 Pro drone is surprisingly good despite its small size. This is mainly because the tiny drone has many advanced sensors installed. Also, the satellite connection does an amazing job. Once you let go of the controllers, the drone stays in place. And in case of emergency, it returns home automatically. Normal weather conditions and even stronger wind gusts can't influence the small drone's flight capabilities. The only downside, so to speak, is that the Mini 3 Pro drone is not water resistant. The propellers of the Mini 3 Pro drone, which are slightly larger than those of similar sized models, result in relatively quiet flight noises and in a flight time of around about 25 minutes. That's undoubtedly a reasonable flight time, though not a new record. After the flight, the batteries can be recharged on the go, for example using a regular power bank. This is a clear plus compared to larger models that usually require a traditional power outlet. Before we finally turn to the camera, a quick word in advance. When shooting professional aerials with a drone, you need to combine advanced technology and creative skills. You need to know how to handle your gear, how to compose shots and not duck away from editing your arts. The greatest drone cannot make up for a lack of skills. Whether you go with the new Mini 3 Pro drone or not, I want to help you build up your skills. My courses sum up many years of experience in the professional drone industry. Visit www.tomstechtime.com courses, sign up for a course and start to create professional aerials with your drone. Save up to 25% for a limited time only when entering the coupon code DRONE2022. The link to my courses and also the coupon code can be found in the description below this video.
The Mini 3 Pro is equipped with a 24mm lens. Despite the relatively small CMOS sensor, the videos look crisp and sharp and the colors nicely natural. There is slight distortion visible in the corners because of the lens's wide angle. Even in the highly contrasty parts of the image, the camera delivers good results. Many details are visible, which is not a standard for miniature drone cameras, actually on the contrary. The DJI Mini 3 Pro drone can record in 4K at up to 60 frames per second. The data rate reaches up to 150 Mbit per second, ensuring details and subtleties to be preserved. The high bit rate incidentally beats many larger drone models. Because the small drone contains the word Pro in its name, the Mini 3 Pro is the first miniature drone equipped with D-Cinelike, DJI's professional grayish looking color profile. Finally, you can use your editor's color grading capabilities and get so much more out of your recordings. Go from lame to wow within seconds. Also, to give the term Pro more of a meaning, the Mini 3 Pro's camera can be finally adjusted manually. That is also big news in a miniature drone. Shutter speed, ISO and white balance can be easily adjusted. Only the aperture is fixed at f1.7. At least the low f-stop lets a whole lot of light enter the lens. At the moment I'm checking out the footage that I just recorded using the Mini 3 Pro drone. And I want to share some of the original files with you, both photo and video files. Check them out on tomstechtime.com slash drone footage. You can download them, you can apply a test edit, and you can basically find out if the drone's camera quality is worth it, if it meets your expectations. I must admit that now after looking at the 48 megapixels photographs, I'm pretty stunned. Having such a quality in such a miniature drone, that is big news. Another highlight for all social media creators and those to be is that the camera is rotatable. You can now create full res portrait videos and photos and share them with the mid social world of social media. Not only when it comes to videography, but also when it comes to photography, the DJI Mini 3 Pro is not the child of bad parents, as we say in German. In standard mode, the camera records 12 megapixels photos only. However, even these rather low resolution photos look surprisingly usable. But if you're into larger prints, for example, there's also a native 48 megapixels photo mode for ultra sharp shots. What you see at the moment is only a small part of the actual photo. Let me zoom out. This is what the true image looks like. The massive 48 megapixels photos offer you a ton of creative possibilities in post-production and they're also great for larger prints. Of course, the Mini 3 Pro drone, otherwise it truly wouldn't deserve the term Pro in its name, can also capture raw images. For Photoshop or Lightroom enthusiasts, being able to edit raw files is a major plus. DJI's Mini 3 Pro drone is leagues ahead of all other miniature drone models when it comes to both safety and camera quality. You can either order the Mini 3 Pro with a standard controller or with a more professional one that features a bright built-in display as its major highlight. This saves you a whole lot of time because you won't have to care about cables and dying smartphone batteries anymore. Regardless of the built-in display though, the remote simply does what you'd expect it to do. It features, for example, an emergency button that safely returns the drone in case a problem should ever appear. And of course you find two control sticks. Also on the front of the controller, you can easily switch between three flight modes, the slow cine mode for filming, the standard mode, or the fast sport mode that makes the drone fly up to roughly 40 miles per hour. On the back of the remote, you find the shutter and record button and the gimbal wheel. And you also notice that the antenna is integrated into the housing and doesn't have to be unfolded. The image transmission of the remote controller has been revised. Officially, the range is pretty phenomenal, you could fly for miles and miles. Now I'd personally be somewhat careful with those official specs and promises. Firstly, you can reach such long distances only under ideal conditions. And secondly, because you are usually not allowed to fly out of sight with your drone anyways. In other words, the connection from the drone to the remote control is top-notch when flying at regular distances. Only very rarely I have experienced glitches. Two disadvantages are also apparent. 
Firstly, there are no charge level indicators on the individual batteries. To check the battery level, you first have to insert one to the drone and then press the power button. That's an unnecessary extra step, but also not a true drama. Secondly, the low weight of the drone, actually a central selling point, also has its downside. The Mini 3 Pro's housing feels sturdy to a certain extent only. In this matter, it remains a miniature drone rather and cannot keep up with the larger and heavier and therefore more robust models. The DJI Mini 3 Pro for sure is an interesting drone model. It convinced me because it features professional tools, for example, the obstacle avoidance cameras and the 4K camera that really delivers crisp and sharp videos and amazing 48 megapixels photos in a miniature body. The drone only weighs 249 grams. Now take a look at the size. I can literally fit it into my jacket's pocket. Boom. I mean, that's what I call a drone. A drone ready for 2022 regulations that you will find too plenty of. Now, in the end, let me tell you that recording amazing aerial photos and videos is about both the technology, but also the skills. And if you want to up your skills, then check out my courses on tomstechtime.com slash courses. I will teach you everything that you need to know about shooting aerial videos and photos with your drone. Now, if you want to check out the current pricing of the Mini 3 Pro drone, then click on the link in the description below the video. This is it for today. Stay tuned and fly safe and hasta la... Ne, what was it? Hasta la proxima, my friends. Until the next time. Until soon. Until soon? I'm completely confused, language confused, communicating the whole day in German now, trying to moderate in English while hearing Spanish around me. It is confusing. Have a good day.